title is um, Children First, how an education, educational program in cardiovascular prevention at school can improve parents' cardiovascular risk. Well, good morning. I am Luciana Fernari, and I'm very pleased to present the results of our study, Children First, how an educational program in cardiovascular prevention at school can improve parents' cardiovascular risk. This is the logo of our study, Children Drawing, a Healthier Family. And to achieve this goal, we study 100 and 97 students aging 6 to 10 years old and their 323 parents from a single school, a single private school in the city of Jundiaí, Sao Paulo, in Brazil. And children were exposed to, to, to two different approaches. The morning period or control group received the written educational material for, for their parents about health lifestyle, nutrition, exercises, and smoke quitting. For the intervention group, the afternoon period, the parents received the same educational material about health lifestyle, and children were exposed to a weekly educational program about cardiovascular prevention with a multidisciplinary health team. This intervention tried to teach to these children in different manners appropriate for their age, concepts of health nutrition, uh, avoidance of tobacco, and the importance of physical exercises. Both at the inclusion of the study and one year later, the multidisciplinary health team collect data from children and their parents that included nutritional and exercise survey with children and their parents, measures of weight, waist circumference, height, arterial blood pressure, and laboratory exams from both children and parents. This data was also collected by the multidisciplinary health team of the study. The educational program in cardiovascular prevention tried to teach children concepts about uh, um, more health nutrition, uh, a more physical exercises, and the importance of a more active life, and the hazardous effects of smoking. And for this, we used educational films and educational plays, practical cooking sessions, discussions with nutritionists and nurses about health lifestyle, competition of health stories with the children, and we promoted family bike rides and Olympic-style events for families. Our multidisciplinary health team that worked with children during the year uh, consisted of nurses, nutritionists, physical educational teachers, physiotherapists, psychologists, and pedagogues from Manchester University. Analyzing the elevated cardiovascular risk group of parents uh, during the year, we observed that in the intervention group, there were a 91% reduction of the parents, number of the parents is still in this high uh, elevated category group, compared to 13% reduction in the control group. In other words, in our intervention group, 91% of the parents who were in a high risk category, cardiovascular risk category, changed to a low risk category at the end of the study after the intervention, education intervention with children during the year. In conclusion, we think that uh, thinking children's first seems to be a useful way to reduce cardiovascular risk in their parents, especially in the higher risk categories and lead to a healthier family. Thank you. Questions? The audience? No questions? 
I have, maybe I have just one question. You mm -hmm. said you develop your program in the private school mm -hmm. in Brazil. Uh, does, does that mean that uh, the studied families um, add a high uh, social-cultural level? Yeah, the school is a median level and we intend to do another work in public schools in Brazil next year to analyze if we ha could have a difference about these two, two populations. They're impressive, result. they're impressive results, but they're relatively small numbers. Don't you need to um, do a bigger study, basically? No, uh, we analyze, to analyze this reduction in the right risk, the elevated risk category, uh, the number, uh, the sample size is appropriate for that to prove that. Frédéric Soumois, Le Soir, Brussels. Uh, do you have an idea of the cost of the intervention? And do you have an idea for the duration of the effect of the program? Uh, this study was founded by a Sao Paulo Research Fund Group and costs approximately $60,000. $60, and no, we don't know the extent of the duration of these this, this results, but in the next year, we intend to do in public schools and for a more longer period to evaluate that. Uh, Pedro Marcos Fidal, the ESC spokesperson for Lifestyle. Uh, just a question, what about the children? Excuse me? Results in children, do you have some? If they like that? No, what were the, did you the have any? Impact in the children, okay. Uh, this is a study analyzing the parents, but we observed that the cholesterol levels decreased markedly in children. We don't have results in, in obesity level, something like that, but we have a really decrease in the cholesterol levels of these children. Could you explain how the category risks for parents change? Uh, did they stop smoking or what is the difference between the... We use for analyze the cardiovascular risk, the Framingham cardiovascular risk that included a lot of mm -hmm. uh, variables that included uh, systolic blood pressure, age, if the patient is smoker or has diabetes, the cholesterol levels. Mm -hmm. And changes in all that categories lead to the decrease of the cardiovascular risk factor in Framingham score. There is no major factor? Uh... The major factor, uh, we think that were the systolic blood pressure and cholesterol levels. I may have missed it, but I'm here. Okay. How many hours a week did the children spend on this education? Uh, this education program were with one hour a week with the multidisciplinary team. But we involved the teachers of the school to, to be talking with children uh, in their common activities during the, the classes. So it was a really motivated whole team of people. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, so how, <coughs> please, how many people uh, you had in the team? In the multidisciplinary health yeah. team. Uh, there was a lot of people. They participated from a uh, university of the town and was about uh, 50, 60 people, 60 person. Have, have you considered, I mean, could there be a psychological impact if you lay a burden on children taking responsibility for their parents' health? I mean, have you assessed this or thought about this? We don't talk to children that they had to uh, make the changes in their family. Okay. We talk to the children and teach children how to get a healthier life. But we don't ask them 
to make the change. The changes were in the culture of the family and were natural. Okay. okay. Why not to talk directly to the patient, to the parents? Excuse me? Why, why, why did you why did not use your program directly for the parents? One hour per week uh, for an education directly to the, to the parents? For the parents. Why yes. didn't you just focus on the parents instead of focusing on the children? Yeah. Yes. That's the question. We analyzed the, the we collected the, the data, the nutritional survey, exercise surveys, and all that in the beginning and at the end of the year. And then we could uh, analyze the effects uh, in the parents. But I think the question is, why did, didn't you teach or educate the parents instead of the children? Because I want to know if teaching children could be a way to modify the family's behaviors. And I think that we prove it. Yes. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm a co-author. Uh, at least I, I, I'm, I'm the senior author of this study. I'm, I'm a father and sh she's... She is a wife, but not my wife. But she has children also. And this is a, a unique and till now not tested initiative because uh, we have plenty of efforts trying to teach adults. Now try something else. And this is a Latin country, French and also Brazil and also Italy. So. Uh, with this in mind, probably in this type of country, and I hope in all over the world, using children to convince parents is a very huge um, um, work and a very huge effort to convince parents. And that's the idea. The idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think in the interest of time, thank okay, you very much. You. We need to move on and let's go to the third presenter. That is Dr.